Hello my dear friends and my dearest family members welcome back to max class uh, we are uh, seeing on the heading tables and multiplications okay so in my last classes and uh, from my day one i am just saying about why the tables and multiplication is so needed uh, in our day to day life isn't it i hope you all seen my uh, past videos if you are not seen uh, i'm just giving some introductions uh, for example the addition so addition is in a very basic uh, arithmetic uh, calculations okay so you can survive by knowing only the addition in your day to day life okay so for example if you are buying something if you need, if you know the addition which are buying a two products a one pro cost of one product is 10 rupees and two product is 20 rupees you just giving the 20 rupees and you can get the same product and next level after the addition the next level is subtraction and then if you learn the subtraction so addition and subtraction you can so good in your day to day life it is uh, it is enough to survive in our day to day life because so if the pro cost of product is two product is 20 rupees but if you have a 50 rupees you are just giving the 50 rupees to the uh, shopkeeper so he will uh, he should return he should return 30 rupees isn't it so you you would want to know how many remaining balance if you are giving a 50 rupees and what is the remaining so you want to know about those things so the very basic calculations like addition and subtraction is more than enough to uh, survive in a day to day life but what is the need to know about the multiplications as i am saying from the day ones an addition and subtraction is enough but what is the need to learn a multiplication means of course a multiplications plays a very major role when there is a uh, a question mark for time okay so for example we are uh, buying a 5000 product on same cost so please uh, listen to my question you are buying a 5000 product on same cost for example the cost of one uh, thing is 10 rupees means you can be very calculative you can easily calculate uh, if of course in the addition also it will be feel difficult for example if the cost of product is 18 rupees okay, that is a one pro, uh, you are buying 5000 product okay you are buying 5000 product you are buying 5000 product the cost of one product is Eighteen rupees. Okay, so so total total cost of one product is eighteen rupees. You are buying a five thousand product. So how you are going to add? If you only know only the addition and subtraction, this of course the subtraction is not going to help in this calculations. So there is no other work for subtraction. You just can avoid it. by only now you the addition is going to be help you so knowing only the addition in if you how you uh, do the addition you, you you want to put 18 for 5000 times understand if you know only the addition what is the problem here it, you here you are going to face it means i already told the multiplication plays major role in time okay so don't forget just have the remember about uh, the word time so if you know only the addition you're not interested to learn multiplication means what you're going to happen in your future in case in case a for your the, you are going to put 18 for 5000 times just assume if you put 18 for 20 times you can't do the addition you are want to going to put 18 for 5000 times then the time it will take nearly one day of course if you do the fast calculations take a one day so if you want to recheck it again you will take another one day okay so you can easily uh, tell me that i will use calculator and i'll use mobile for phones for the calculations yes of course if you already know knew the if you learn the multiplication also you are going to do the same things but if you know only the addition even though in a calculator also it will be feel very difficult to put 18 times uh, sorry 5000 times 18 
okay to avoid these big confusion now we are going to learn the multiplications okay so now you can understand what is the need to learn the multiplications isn't it so instead of putting 18 for a 5000 time whereas if you learned the multiplication now how you are going to perform it Okay, so now we are we going to perform it means 5000 into 18. This is a very simple step. Only in within a two step you are going to get an answer. So this is the power of a multiplication and now you can understand why I am just uh, comparing the multiplication with that time. Okay, so it is a very time consumption, isn't it? So instead of putting a 18 for a 5000 time, you just putting a, okay, if you do the multiplication, you can get the answer within a two step. Even though if you are uh, doing in a calculator also, this is a proper procedure, 5000 into 18 it is a proper procedure okay now you can all understand what is the need to learn the multiplication okay so next i'm coming for the tables okay okay so next is the tables okay so as what i said the 5000 into 18 isn't it what i have said 5000 into 18 i said so to perform the multiplication, you want to know about the tables. Okay, you want to know about the tables because the tables we already seen in my last video itself isn't it we have uh, reading the tables on a different uh, not a different way a uh, different uh, series for example for example we always uh, used to read it uh, in the proper uh, series like 2, 3, 4, 5, 12. Up to 12 is enough. So, we will uh, read it in a proper series like a 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. But what I am saying means if you are uh, uh, reading the tables means don't read it on this series. So what we have seen in my last videos, what we have, what I have told you. So we, I have rearranged the series of uh, reading the tables, isn't it? So it will, uh, so for, uh, for example, if you read it in, in this series at a one point, you will get very frustrated and you get very bored of reading the tables. So only the, um, so that is a reason uh, many students were very struggles in a six, seven, eight tables. Seriously, six, seven, eight tables, the people will so struggles and some students will struggle in three, four itself. Four, uh, six, seven, eight itself, they will feel very struggle to read it, isn't it? So, to avoid these kind of a thing, we are just choosing the series of uh, tables. Okay, what is, uh, what is our procedure to read the tables, our series? So, we want to read the second table at the first time. Next, five tables. Next, ten tables. Isn't it? Next, 2, 5, 10. Next, what is the procedure? Next, what is the procedure? 3 tables. Okay. So, up to we have read only 2, 5, 10, uh, 3 tables alone. So, remaining tables we are going to see it in the future. Uh, that is in my uh, remaining classes we are going to see it. So, this is the proper uh, way of reading the tables. To, uh, you please avoid continuously reading to after 2, 3, 3, after 3, 4. Just please avoid it. If you read it in this uh, procedure, you can uh, remember the tables at last. For at last, you can remember. Okay, so this is a supporting. The tables is a supporting system for multiplications. We cannot divide the multiplication and tables okay so we cannot divide it so multiplication and tables is a it's like a brothers and sister we cannot divide or it's like a twins so we cannot divide it if you if you are uh, want to know about the multiplication you should be know about the 
tables okay you should be know about the tables if you are a very well versed in the tables like a 2 to 12 you almost you can perform the multiplications within a very easy seconds or within a very a few minutes you can perform the multiplications okay okay on this a very short introductions uh, what are, what i have told you in my last classes we have seen about the 10th uh, table isn't it so we have seen about the 10th table and how it works